Hello everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020 where I'm going to take a look at some new freeware airports available and the first one that I'm going to look at is this one right here BGCO by Ryan Flint and Ryan Flint has uh, three offerings actually and we'll take a look at each of them first and so this is Nerlurit Inat uh, th there you go Nerlurit Inat I don't know how else to pronounce it uh, so let's fly there and take a look Okay, so we're in the Bonanza, and there's a tower there, that's nice, actually an airport with a tower. The surroundings are fairly typical, there's a bit of a sort of cliff gap there, a height gap there, might need something touching up. Anyway, throttle up and we'll take a look from a higher vantage point. Now, uh, this airport could potentially be helpful on trips across the Atlantic for smaller planes. Obviously, the larger planes would have the range to go across the Atlantic without any trouble. The only planes that you need to stop over at Greenland with is probably a small plane. So, a grass strip isn't too bad for that. And we'll take a look outside here. Got some ships here, boats. It is a little bit north in Greenland for stopovers. It could take the place of an Iceland stopover, but it wouldn't be used in conjunction with an Iceland stopover. So I uh, recently found out that not only do we have the normal websites and msfsaddons.org, but Nexus Mods now has mods for Microsoft Flight Sim as well. It's a little bit cumbersome to have to go through a whole bunch of sites. One nice thing about X-Plane was generally everything was posted on xplane.org. That was helpful. Um, but right now everything seems rather distributed all over the place and different places don't have the same mods necessarily. Used to be for the older versions of Flight Sim I'd go to just flightsim.com or absim but in terms of formatting at the moment of course Nexus Mods has hosted mods a lot so it's got the best sort of infrastructure if you will for this sort of thing you know sorting and searching and the look is more up to date than the older websites so we get a sense it's a fairly straightforward place here I think it'd be most appropriate if I land in the opposite direction. Ah, uh, the GPS doesn't actually show this runway on it. That makes sense. I wonder if there's a way to configure that or not. Okay, we're down. Okay. But anyway, here we are. This is... BGCO and on to the next one. Okay, so I'm gonna go with a Cessna 152 and we'll take a look at the next special, and that is the CYB2 Mac Mill Fisheries, again by Ryan Flint. So let's take a look. 2,100 feet of undefined. Great. <laughs> What I always wanted to uh, take off and land on. Undefined. Okay, well this this is like a path through the forest, much more than a actual runway. Actually, it, it curves around like that. <laughs> yeah, that, that looks more like a path through the forest. Okay, well let's take off, I suppose. This is a heck of a scene. Okay, we're up. This is a serious mountain over there. This is bush flying all right. So yeah, this is a tiny, tiny little strip here. You really have to know what you're looking for. There, is, there are facilities over here. And 
then there's sort of another area over here. And this is all on an I no no uh, not quite an island. Peninsula. Okay, well not a whole lot to look at in this weather. I've got real world weather on. Uh, let's just try and land, I suppose. This is gonna be a little bit challenging though. Okay, I can't uh, Okay, there it is. Oh, okay, there's some trees in the way here. Oh gosh, please let the trees not be collidable. I'm going too fast. Well, I guess the best way to solve that is land. It's gonna turn. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I died. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll try that some other time. That's gonna be a challenging one. Next! Okay, so from that we go to CQRA. So this is the third of the Ryan Flint ones. Quantum River. Almost quantum, but not quite. So that's just north of Vancouver. Well, I say just. But uh, so it's between Macmill Fisheries and Vancouver. So there's a flight for you. I mean, it could go from Vancouver to Quantum to Macmill to, gosh, there's probably something else around here. And then Stewart here. I think that's one of the stock ones. Not sure. I think so. Okay. But let's see this runway, and maybe let's have less horrible conditions. Um, uh, yeah, let's go scattered clouds. Well, okay, why am I parked on the side though? Otherwise this looks sort of familiar. I think I'm getting the gist of these Ryan Flint airports. <laughs> Okay, imposing trees, really. These are some tall trees. Oh, there is a logging area here. There's a caravan there, too. I think I'm running out of runway. There's, there was there a bear? I think there was a bear. I'm keeping the little bit of flaps, by the way. Oh, that's quite a facility, actually. They got some other stuff over here, or is that... That's a glacier, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's some sort of snow. That's a heck of a valley. I don't know which direction I should land in. Oh, let's try it this way. Gosh, I don't have a good feeling about. Uh, well, okay, okay. I crashed once already in one of these. I'll go around. Let's try and keep it slow. I already passed flap speed. It should have like snapped the flaps or something. Probably coming in from the other direction would be better. But then the the facilities are at the other end of this, so I'm like, I'd rather stop at them. I don't think the trees are very collidable, actually. Gosh, I'm going fast. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. No. Oop! Oh, saved it. Saved it. Saved it. Yeah, I'm gonna need a tow to pull this back. Well, improvement. So is that a bear? I think so. I might need a tow and like something to scare the bear away. Okay, next up is... 
And I'll have to search for this. WV08. Island, Chesapeake. Okay, this is by Carbon Pop, Scott's Island. And we've got 1,600 feet of grass. I hope this little guy can handle that. I don't think this kind of plane normally flies out of this kind of place. But maybe I'm profiling. There's a bench there for some reason. Okay, alright, uh, inside. I think probably best if I start out inside here. Okay. Breaks off and go. That's an interesting sound it's making. Oh, there's a house here. Well, they can definitely take off from this. Got a lot of houses here. Actually, this is not a small community. We've got... This is a huge community. Jeez. It's an island in the middle of the river there. And we've got this whole thing going here. I mean, I'm not surprised they need a little airstrip. We've got some industrial facilities here. The island is a curious place to put it. It sort of makes things inconvenient, <laughs> I mean, in a way. If, like, you're bringing in supplies and all. So this is an interesting place, all right. Well, this shouldn't be too bad to land at. At least I can see it. This can actually fly pretty low speeds, like 30 knots and stuff. I look at it and I go, I wish it was uh, something that can do 200 like a Lancare Legacy. It looks like a Lancare Legacy, but it isn't. It can barely keep up with a Cessna 152. Might not be able to actually come to think of it. Uh, don't hit the buildings. Don't hit the buildings. Okay, back at the bench. Well, not quite actually. We'd have to go a little bit further. There's some logs there. Okay, so there we have it. That's WV08 by Carbon Pop. And next, we are going to check out an airport in Alaska. And it's going to be PAUN, which I think uh, was featured in a show or of some kind. And on the website, it says uh, Unalakleet. But here it's just Unakleet. So I don't know which one's right. But uh, this seems, this is asphalt, this is a big airport. I think it services actual airliners or can, I mean, uh, you know, smaller ones, but still. So it's not a, not anything like the airports we've been looking at so far, basically. All those have been chibi airports, little guys. Okay, so P-A-U-N, and let's take a look, uh, there's some, uh, there's a bump in the runway, so that's fancy. This thing makes the funniest sound. Okay, up. So that's the airport. We've got facilities back there, a smaller runway. Uh, this is the main runway that can be used for all sorts of things. Of course, Alaska is a big state, so it's always helpful to have runways all over the place. So that you can explore. Nice waves. Look at those waves. Didn't notice those before.
Oh, uh, some overlapping things there. Uh, some uh, there seems to be like a conflict like this. Needs to be some sort of exclusion for AI planes or something. They're doubling up those planes and it's not liking it. That West Virginia place seemed to have a bigger community next to its tiny little grass strip though. I wonder if the, I ought to check out how that is. Let me see if I can land back on this runway even though I'm not set up for it. It's a pretty long runway after all. Technically, I should come in from the other direction, I'm sure. Okay. Alright, simple enough. That's P-A-U-N. Next, we're going to go to Europe. So that was P-A-U-N by Iggy. I don't remember if I mentioned that, but important. And all the way over to Norway we go. And not to... And, no, is it Enda? It is Enda. It's this one. Sun, Sundane? Sundane? Sun, I don't know how to pronounce that. But in Norway, and we will change to... Hmm... Um, let me try this TDI thing. Okay. So ENSD, and this is going to be by Augustin Winther. Get a sense of it in all sorts of times. That That's pretty good. All right. So here we are. And looking around. Nice tower. And off we go. So taking a look back, that's what we're looking at. Um, I guess, does this count as a fjord? I guess, sort of? I'm not sure. I think it counts as a fjord. So we've got the airport over here, but there's some stuff up there. Let me just take a quick look. Okay, well, small community. It seems like a really big airport. I'm just wondering what it does exactly. Nice roadway though. I mean, they've got a definite significantly sized road here. Uh, so a little bit of a village here. I don't know. Can you even call that a village? What do you call just a cluster of buildings like that? Does that count as a village anymore? I feel like it's even smaller than a village. Might be nicer to come in from the other side. But it does have appropriate lights on this side. Okay. I forget if there's a taxiway over here. Uh, oh, I don't think I can turn that. Uh, well, there's a sort of place here. You know what? Okay, this is this is the special diamond parking slot. Right next to the windsock. Okay, yeah. Uh. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> my tail's sort of poking out, I didn't do the parking job right. Okay, uh, last airport that I'm going to feature in this video is in Germany. And this airport is Eden. Eden, actually. Eden. Okay, and Bad Hersfield Airport. Um, actually, that's shorter. I, it was concrete, but I thought it was going to be longer. Can we take off with the King Air from that? Shorter runway? Let's find out.
Now this is a serious airport because it's like 900 megabytes, so it's not a small file. I was surprised. The download size is uh, 192 megabytes. So we'll have to take a look and see whether it's worth it. The other ones are all tiny. I think they're mostly using stock assets. Maybe some extra textures, but mostly stock assets. This one, well, it better look pretty. <laughs> no, no, I, only encouragement for our, our intrepid add-on producers, please. Okay. Well, there's some interesting stuff off to the side. Oh, we got actual solar panels. Well, that'll take a bit. Jeez, okay. Well, it's looking like a good place, huh? Looks fancy. Let's see. A little bit gloomy here. I don't think that this is gonna make it. Maybe. We'll see. It's pretty close. This is sort of another inundation here. Okay. We're off. I don't know if I want to try and land over there though. Why is it so much gloomier in the cockpit than out here? Well, the community looks nice. Lots of stuff around here. Airports ring by the solar panels there. I think uh, probably there there's photo scenery on the ground textures here. Maybe that contributed to the size of it. The facilities don't look that complex. Oh, there's a little loop at this end of the runway. That's fancy. It's interesting. I haven't seen a solar panel ringed field before. It's interesting that the, the that community is like right around the airport there. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Well, we got that turnaround thing at the end of the runway, so it's totally legal here. No, no, dude, you're going too fast, you're going too fast. No, I couldn't use the turnaround thing. Are the soul panels collidable? I need to find this out. No, they are not. Okay, well, I. That turnaround loop was too tight for me anyway. Who can even turn around like that? Okay, so this is Eden. But just as a final little uh, bonus, I guess. Ob Gars produced the Sydney Tower. And High Frame Rates, the appropriately named, uh, produced Sydney Harbor Bridge. So let's see that those are intact. I have not visited Sydney so far, so this will be new. But as I understand it, the tower and the harbor bridge were not there previously, even though the opera house was a uh, sort of main feature. You know what? I'll try a in-flight thing. Yeah, let's just start uh, in the air, but with something slower. Uh, the aerobat would be nice. Okay, so we're in the air over Sydney. We're just going to take a look here. We see the Sydney Opera House there. There's the Harbor Bridge that just popped into view. So apparently that was not... I mean, it's right there. How could they have not put a good model? But apparently they didn't, and thankfully high frame rates did. Uh, well, I'm getting low frame rates, sorry. <laughs> Hold on. I'll wait until the CPU has decided that's fully got everything and then I'll start.
Okay, I think it's uh, decided it's got everything. So, Harbor Bridge is looking wonderful. I feel like I should just copy this bridge and place it in a whole bunch of other locations. The problem is, the traffic is going underneath it. Which is further proof that it didn't exist before. But, I'm gonna let that be a minor issue compared to how wonderful the bridge looks like. That's a nice looking bridge. Uh, one of the problems with uh, Flight Sim so far has been that the bridges are... The AI just doesn't really get them, let's face it. So, yeah, we need more of more bridges. And so there is the Opera House. And we'll head to the tower. So the Sydney Tower by Obgars. Well, I mean, certainly if you're going to visit the Opera House and everything, this should be here. It is rather hard to miss. So, wonderful efforts to complete the, the view of Sydney around here. Good times. Hello everyone, post commentary me here. After the flight at Sydney, I decided to check out Stonehenge because I had installed an add-on freeware scenery for Stonehenge. But unfortunately, it didn't seem to show up. Uh, we're flying uh, close to it right there. And the stones... Admittedly, I don't blame Flight Sim for not having it in the first place. The stones are not that tall. <laughs> they're, they're really small, actually. And so as I fly over there, unfortunately, for some reason, I've, I probably messed up the installation of it or something. But the stones did not show up. So, uh, yep. Anyway, a little bit of a downer for me on the last flight of this sequence. But I hope you enjoyed the other flights. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.